Hello, my friends. Welcome to the 10th episode of Painting with Vanilla Biscotti. I am your host, Vanilla Biscotti. We have a very, very special episode. Not only am I going to draw one of my favorite characters of all time, but we have a very special guest that made the music for the outro this time. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to play the whole song. I'm going to play a little snippet of it, but I'm going to leave the channel name and the song in the description below. I'm also going to leave his Twitter in case you'd like to say thank you for the lovely music. I loved it, and I enjoyed it, and I enjoyed it. It paired well with my favorite drawing show, Painting with Vanilla Biscotti. So, now that we have that out of the way, let me get situated here. We're going to draw. I'm very, very excited, my friends, to draw this one today. Now, as you know, we always start off with our simple shapes. Might not know who this is yet, but... Once the sh simple shapes are out of the way, you will know. We've, we've talked about a lot of a lot of topics here on this show. That's very good, very very good. Some people, some people out there, well, they're not very friendly. That's okay. Not everyone has to be friendly all the time because if everyone was friendly all the time, honestly, you wouldn't know what friendly is because that's all you've ever seen before. But it's never okay to bully somebody. Never ever. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you a little story. When I was growing up, I was bullied a lot. I got bullied because I didn't come from the right background. What I mean by that is my, my mom was uh, pretty much an alcoholic. And I didn't have a dad growing up he decided to leave when I was young you know that's his choice I can't blame him for that but this meant that I was different than the other kids because I didn't have a lot of money I didn't have you know, the coolest clothes that the kid, all the other kids had. And this led to a lot of bullying from me. And there was nights that I would go home crying from school. And... You know, I felt very, very helpless at times. I felt like nobody in the world cared. But then I started developing a habit for creation. And by creation, I meant, I mean, my mom had a video camera that she would used to film you know birthdays and special events and one day I took that camera and I started making silly videos just little little silly videos here and there you know whenever I had the time or whenever I could use the camera and I absolutely loved it and I loved creating and seeing what kind of crazy things my mind could come up with 
and I fell in love with creation. And to this day, I love to create. I love to use my mind to see what kind of just what what kind of what kind of silly little thing I could come up with. And that was my escape from from being bullied. And after a while, after a while, I didn't even even realize that I wasn't getting bullied so much. And I, I don't know, I don't know what really happened. I think maybe my newfound confidence in myself might have stopped the bullying because I was getting more confident. I was I was talking to people more. I was being more social. And, you know, I don't blame the bullies because we're all afraid of different things. And maybe they were just afraid of me because I was a little different from them. You know, so when I started becoming myself and when I started started interacting more with the kids at my school they started to to see that you know maybe I'm not I'm not so bad to hang around and I started making little friends here and there and it was just a wonderful time so if you ever have a problem with bullies because I know we all do sometimes maybe just try to try to connect with them a little bit try to interact a little bit you know you might it might work might not some people just like to be bullies that's that's fine too you know just stay away from that guy or girl. Girls can be bullies too. But to stay away. Try to avoid confrontations. If you are in a confrontation. You should learn. The first thing about confrontations is you should learn to try to avoid them. If you ever are in one. You need to learn what to do. Now I can't. I can't tell you what to do because, well, that's a little bit out of my expertise, but there's all kinds of programs and things out there for people that want to learn how to avoid confrontations and how to, how to get out of them if you are in one. I'd be happy to help you. If you ever need help looking for a program like that, I can help you. We can learn together. Maybe I could learn a thing or two about staying out of confrontations. Because me, myself, I am very, very passive about just about everything in life. It is a blessing and a curse for me because I have no real sense of urgency sometimes but I also don't let things get me down yes I do get down sometimes things bother me you know I'm I'm a human being just like anyone else of course things are gonna bother me every once in a while but I don't usually dwell on them. I don't really allow them to affect me much. And by that I mean, you know, I'll do my little song and dance of anger. But then at the end of the day, I'm, I'll just be like, you know what? The grand scheme of things... It doesn't really 
it doesn't really affect me too much. Yeah, what they said is hurtful. And yeah, what they said you know, might not have been nice. But, you know, got to take the good with the bad. And just let them believe whatever it is they believe, you know, unless, unless what they said is very hurtful, but two wrongs, now this is an old saying, but it's, it's a good one, two wrongs don't ever make a right. And what that means is if somebody hurts you, that doesn't give you the right to hurt them. And I know that it's hard to follow that rule, especially in the heat, the heat of the moment. And you got those fresh wounds, and all you think about is Oh man, how can I get this how can I get this guy back? He really he really steamed my broccoli and I am just livid with with anger. And you just have to remember just listen just listen to your old friend Vanilla here. Just remember that anger will pass anger will always pass maybe it's longer for some than others but it will always pass and you will always feel a little bit better and when that passes then you really don't have anything else to worry about because at that point you've already you've already you know forgotten you might have already forgotten what made you mad so that's why that's why when you're mad if somebody does something to you maybe just count just count count a few seconds 5 10 seconds and boy you'll you'll never I tell you if you just count just count a few seconds after it happens I can I can guarantee that you will never ever again do something to somebody else that you might regret because those that first couple seconds you're mad and you, you count count your 10 seconds 15 seconds 20 seconds whatever even if you have to go outside and take take a take a little bit of fresh air and if you do that and you come back you're gonna feel better and you're gonna you're, you're, you're probably going to forget what you were mad about in the first place. And, you know, unless he's doing it again, you know, you can just go on about your day. Now, if he's, he or she is doing something to you that it's a non-stop harassment, then that's when you have to take the proper... proper steps to solve that once again that is not for me to say everyone has their own problem solving techniques I am just here to give you advice in my ear and little pearls of wisdom and if you haven't guessed already we have drawn Tails from Sonic the Hedgehog Tails was always one of my favorite characters mostly because he was always very very kind and believe it or not he was always kind of mistreated by Sonic and it's kind of sad but he makes up for it by being super smart and he's always loyal to Sonic even on bad days and now we're going to hand it over to my very special friend, the Lively Robot. I'm going to play a little bit of his music. 
I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to leave my Twitter down below, and I'm going to graphically display that on the screen. If you ever have any suggestions for me to draw, or if you'd ever just like to talk to me, you can message me there, or you can message me here on YouTube. Hope you had a wonderful time, and I will see you again soon, my friends. Take care.